Portugal. We're in Sintra, the marble district of Portugal. Welcome. Welcome. Wow, more paradise. <laughs> The few I think I'm going to move in here. Yeah, we're still refurbishing a few bits and pieces. Carefully don't fall over. Yes, it's a labour of love. <laughs> it is amazing. I literally want to camp in here. <laughs> okay, where shall we start? Can we start over here? Okay. Well, we can start over here, in this area here. Again, showing you crystal, beautiful ceramics. I mean, these drawers are just filled with tricks and tricks. Oh, and the cable, how odd. <laughs> <laughs> Mosaic work. I mean, it's just... You just have to. You need to come and look. Come down and look in person, because this is unbelievable interior designers. You will just make a trip, have a holiday, and come and visit this showroom. It is just... I'm so excited. I just don't even know where to look. Here we go. I mean, look at that, for example. Yeah. yeah, these are typical of English houses, um, Victorian glass. So we're reproducing Victorian glass so that people can actually put this into their entryways at their London homes and elsewhere. And you do all colours. This has died, this technology. Technique doesn't exist. Oh, yeah, we do all kinds. Whatever you like. So, we're all we're constantly reviving old techniques like this. This would again be, you'd find this typically in London houses. And um, we've sort of brought this product back to life and we antique it and distress it. I mean, there's many things, and I can show you some of the panels. And um, what Jace is standing on are actually new floors to look old and were carved by a dear friend of mine who his last project was actually a carved stone bar for me and then he died, unfortunately. Oh. But his last job was superb. It makes me have goosebumps to think oh, about it. And we've got shell work here, more mother of pearl, rock crystal. This is an ibis and we have fashioned it in rock crystal and bronze. And these are more recent collections here. We've got bamboo, we've got pine, we've got a palm, um, all all byproducts basically of industry. Up here, this wall again, you can see bamboo, palm. Um, actually, what's interesting about this, Yolanda, is that these products, despite being bamboo, mimic the old straw marquetry. Oh, yeah. So, this is, is very beautiful. In at the moment, yeah, which very is beautiful. Very for, in at the moment, Zen. For can cabinetry, for, for furniture. I mean, you can actually do beautiful things, you know, not only in the home, but also in restaurants, you know, dividing walls, add texture, add color. And the funniest product here, really, actually, is this one here. And um, in the old days, do you remember when people used to put Diamantes on the back of phones? Well, we actually did the whole ceiling of a nightclub in this. Wow. And it's literally a sticker. It's a, and this is a <laughs> It was sticker. incredible. A whole nightclub ceiling in diamante like Shorovsky crystals. That's incredible. Yeah. But it's just out of a little idea, you can get a very interesting project. And that's what they were putting in the back of the iPhones. Yeah. In the early days. <laughs> and we have here more bone and horn as well. That's, that's Mother of Pearl, actually. Yeah. These are very popular products, as is our chocolate shell. And um, the, these sell and sell and sell and sell. Beautiful. So much choice. Yeah, I mean, I love this. I mean, look, that's, that's um, bamboo. bamboo for walls. Mm -hmm. Can be stunning. It's been sanded down and worked. And what are these for? Those are floors that we created. They're wood floors that we created, and we add in little rosettes of bone and horn. And again, in this particular case, we use some brass. We're always playing around with some ideas. Yeah. You know, we'll probably, if I just open one random drawer, where well, you've got stonework, mosaic, probably lots of more bamboo, more. Actually, this um, is um, oh, palm. This is palm, but this is stunning. I mean, look at this beautiful product. Look at it in a different light. Oh, wow. And it looks like animal skin. Absolutely stunning. Well, let's try and get that. So in the easy light to wipe. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. 
Right, Ross, this is our very famous bitter chocolate limestone. It's a bit dusty. Oh, this it. is a bitumous limestone. It actually comes from an oil field in Sicily. And um, I've been selling this floor since 1998, and um, when my ex-partner and I branded it as bitter chocolate, it's probably been one of the most popular limestones since Crema Marfil in Spain. But this is a very high-end product. We give it various finishes from what we call an elephant skin finish right through to a home finish. This floor scratches like crazy. If you don't like scratches, do not buy this floor. If you can understand patina and wear and tear and that it gets better with age, this floor is amazing. Yeah, totally. like, like floorboards. Amazing. Floorboards amazing. Is better with Absolutely. Again, lots of random products on the wall. We've randomized it quite a bit on purpose just so that people don't get too bored and distracted. I mean, we've got um, that beautiful floral shape with, uh, with pen shell. So pen shell is like the darker shell that we use here. And then you can go really to town and do floors that are underlit with rock crystal and red agates and more shell. I mean, this is actually translucent as you can see. So you, could put a light you can backlight it, absolutely. Incredible. Yeah. These are borders, different borders that we use. Um, again, you might have noticed that we kind of like the parquet de Versailles theme here. This yeah. is a stone floor. This is a stone floor. Again, to mimic the parquet de Versailles. And this is a super floor. This we call the peacock floor. It's actually a rendition of an old Roman floor, an old Roman mosaic, but we've actually inlaid it with malachite, red agate, lapis lazuli, and so on. Incredible, that one. It's yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, that went into a neoclassical house in Poland about um, 30 years ago. It was my first job with this product, which wow. is fabulous. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, ceramic, this is the ceramic zone. And do we have any Portuguese stuff? Um, we do actually, funny, funny you should mention that. We have a, on the bottom row here, we have the sort of Portuguese style of tiles. And they're all hand painted they're all locally? They're all hand painted locally, yeah. yeah. And as you go up the levels, you'll see Italian, you'll see Spanish, and then you'll see these very interesting tiles up here. They're all yeah. from the Delft studio, so you can see my artists are very versatile right through to studios that will turn around Turkish Iznik styles. And then the top row, especially the, from the middle oh, to, I recognize to the, the right there, Nisha Yeah, I designed the brochure. Yeah, exactly, we did a great job with our brochure. And yeah, Nisha Crosland, who's a very, very talented designer. Yeah. I think we, we, we have four ranges with her now, and one more to follow, I believe. And these are Portuguese, these, these are lovely. I mean, this is from um, the Fronteira Palace um, in Benfica. The tiles are exquisite. I mean, if you get wow. a chance to see Fronteira Palace, wow. Totally lovely. Painted by a local artist called Cristina Lemos, who actually paints for the National Tile And does she sign them as well? No, we don't allow her to. Oh, right, okay. Otherwise, everyone would be knocking on the door. <laughs> <laughs> so, what else? We have pebbles in glass. Wow. These are just different random samples of mosaic. I mean, you know, this is, uh, we'll find this in Moroccan Riyadh. It's called Zalij. So little tiny ceramics are carved up, actually with a little chisel and a hammer to make these shapes all laid by hand. And then you've got just uh, And what's that one with the fish? The fish actually, this, this, is a, this is a micro mosaic and it's an old Roman mosaic and I believe that came from Piazza Armerina in Sicily. And then what you see really is just lots of samples for various projects that we did. For example, the one up here is a sample of a project that we did at number five Hartford Street in London. Wow. The Burley Club, stunning mosaic floor. Um, the birds were for a beautiful bathroom mimicking the Gournay wallpaper, but in mosaic. Again, as you can see, there's lots of gold. And... So, so can you imitate wallpaper as well into the mosaic? Absolutely. Yeah, wow. absolutely. Often people will look at pictures or wallpaper or old paintings or frescoes and we will then put them into a mosaic for them. I mean, there's just never... Here's a larger version of the floor I showed you earlier, and then more inlay work. 
And this just shows you the quality of our antiquing. I like to call it um, distressing. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Yeah. The quality is just outstanding. Yeah. You just have to come in person to feel them and, and look at them because it's just... Pictures don't, it's, it's, don't give it justice. Okay. It's, very, it's very difficult. I mean, these, these are painted by some friends of mine in Thailand. I mean, look at these basins. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they're really lovely. I mean, the really, detail is just incredible. Really stunning. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. It's only here because I don't have a basin at home. Otherwise, I would. <laughs> I'm full of I'm full of basins. Okay, I'll <laughs> take it. <laughs> Look, this is, this is interesting. So this is um, actually um, a series of malachite pilasters we made for one of the largest houses in London, in Highgate. And basically we used brass that we bronzed with malachite and these were absolutely everywhere. I mean, it was a very, very large project for us. It was a great success. And again, you're looking at more inlays. We're the only people in the world with this chocolate brown onyx. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Very limited reserves. And do you also give advice how to clean the products? Oh, absolutely. When you order them? Sure, sure. You'll get an installation manual with instructions on how to install, what products to use, yeah. and how to maintain and clean. Yeah, absolutely. Which is very important because you don't want to use products that are going to ruin these absolutely incredible sure, products. Sure, sure. Watch yourselves, watch your steps over here. Uh, this is an authentic stone from the Bourgogne region of France. And it's an authentic antique. Actually, they're leftovers of a project I did for a chapel recently. A chapel? Yeah, yeah, they do have a feel of the chapel. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. And again, there's that grey stone I spoke about. So these are samples of each one? Or yeah, well, actually, no, this would be the floor. It okay. would be ra as random as that. Yeah. And then, as you can see, the floor that you saw in my house this afternoon. Yes. This is a 17th, eh, sorry, 18th century terracotta floor known as Blanc Rosé. And if you remember, I mentioned something about the old Victorian floors in front of London houses. Well, as you can see, we can really beat them up. Oh, yes. So we can really distress them so that they don't look brand new and like they have basically stood the test of time. Incredible. So a lot of products, a lot of hand made nature, a lot of artistry going into them. A lot. They're just... I mean, this is uh, one of my favorite. It's actually potentially going into a job in America. It's um, actually inspired by Tutankhamun's necklaces and, oh, his, and wow. his neckwear. It's made in ceramic with um, red jasper. And there's a darker version of it as well somewhere. Another basin. These are what we call cosmati. Cosmati. Actually, this is part of the village around it. Um, the Ferranti family were the architects of Venice, at least a Ziani part of our family. And actually, these types of floors you would find in the, 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 near the Duomo. Oh, wow. It's heavy. Yeah. And uh, these are authentic old marbles, and we really do a beautiful job of distressing these. Incredible. Yeah. I'll have that one. <laughs> <laughs> and this is from the 12th century, inspired by, I mean, the materials are authentic. And then you've got, again, beautiful terracottas from Spain. Oh, they look like leather. Very beautiful. And um, uh, the, the floor that I showed you earlier, the Medievale, that's in volcanic stones. So it's a completely different look. So often we work with clients on the color palette and also the textures, and we will change materials. Yeah. Okay. And that one is a washed out? That that's a leather floor. Oh, it's a leather that's floor. That's been washed out. In fact, um, that's very Jason, you might be able to be careful on this. It's fine. So these are leather floors, and um, they're, they're actually more durable than people think. And you can use them also with underfloor heating if you use the right glues. And um, these are metal floors. So this would be our German silver, which is, I mean, we're, we did this in Victoria's Secret in New Bond Street. I mean, it was massive order. Beautiful floor. This one's brass, but it's a bit tarnished. It's just yeah. the humidity here in Sintra. These metal floors need maintenance. Yes, Okay, exactly. But you wouldn't have that problem necessarily in, in, in a non-humid climate. No, unfortunately. Again, you see more metal floors. I mean, this is when we bronze them. And there's a silver again. And then we've got some leather here as well, which I Unfortunately, it's called a 
little bit of damp. But you are but in it Sintra. happens. We're in the dampest part of Portugal. Which is Sintra. More leather floors here. And um, yeah, I mean, again, Parquet de Versailles. Our favorite floor pattern in leather. And these are the Nisha Coslin pattern in leather tiles as well. Wow. And we have Chagrin, which is Stingray. We, we actually used a real Chagrin, so real Stingray, but we prefer to use our faux version, mm -hmm. which we believe is kinder. And um, yeah, the, these are incredible, absolutely incredible. And then we also have um, goat skin, so this is called Vellum. Is that real? Got, yeah, yeah, but very real beautiful. Real goat skin. And we're putting, the, they've actually put on a wooden panel. For headboards, you can do whole cabinets, whole bedroom furniture in this. Wow. And then just beautiful, simple be beveled mirrored glass. So you get orders for head, headboards? Absolutely, but mainly for the walls behind the headboard. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And what are those over there? That actually is mica. So mica, it used to be used as the windows of old furnaces. And we delaminate it, and we've come up with two colors, which is our sort of chocolate brown and our bronzy gold, and they're, they're beautiful. Well, thank you very much. That has been absolutely amazing. You're welcome. So if you want to hear any more about different products, you know where to come. <laughs> and give me some more notice, and she did, please. <laughs>